and welcome to this vlog here for Scotch Whiskey Auctions and our 56th auction. This vlog is rather special in that, well it's the first one I've done in a month uh, due to some laryngitis, but it's even more special in that we have actually broken a record again. This is going to be our largest ever auction with over 3,400 lots available to you. So I'm here to take you through some of these really interesting bottles behind us, but these bottles can only be representative, a small part of the massive auction that we do have in front of us. Um, so what all these bottles represent not only themselves, but the different aspects and, and facets of this absolutely fascinating auction. So let's get stuck in quite quickly, go through the bottles, and then tomorrow, when the auction goes live, you can get in, have a look around, and I'm sure, I guarantee you, you are going to find some absolutely cracking bottles in this record-breaking auction. First up, we have the Ten of Spades from Shiru's Malt, this is from the, the Card series. This was distilled in Hanyu in 1988 and bottled in 2006. And it's bottle number 44 of 202. Now Hanyu closed around about the same time as Kurosawa, so as well as this being rare in and of itself, we picked up this bottle because it does represent a time when Japanese whiskey, when distilleries were closing, that have now become incredibly interesting to both collectors and drinkers and people who want to experience a style of Japanese whiskey that isn't quite there anymore. So that's the lovely bottle uh, of the Hanyu. Next up we have another lost distillery and this is Lochside from Montrose. Now Lochside is quite interesting because they produced both uh, single malt whiskey and grain whiskey as well. And a lot of their stuff was actually blended at birth. There's a bottle from Adelphi in this month's auction, which is in that style. So both the grain and the spirit and the malt mix at the same time and left. But this one is a single grain, but it's uh, been aged in a sherry butt. And it's 48 years old from Cooper's Choice. There are an awful lot of distilleries in this month's auction that are no longer producing. So you can't get hold of that whiskey anymore. So it is literally a finite source. So there's Capradonic, there's Pity Vieux, there's Portellin, obviously. Get in, have a look, find these lost distilleries, get a chance to taste something that you literally can't get hold of anymore. Next up we have a distillery that is still producing, and it's producing just up the road from where we are here in Glasgow, and that's Glen Goyne. And this is from their Lost Drams range, and this is a set of 150 cases of whiskey, which show you a lovely evolution of the spirit at uh, Glen Goyne. This was distilled in 1968, it's the youngest of the bottles in the collection. And it comes in a lovely bespoke case and uh, yeah, a really good chance to have a look at maybe not one of the world's best known distilleries, but still a really lovely, lovely uh, lot and distillery to go and visit. Next up we have uh, Glen Grant and this was distilled in 1954 and it's been bottled by Gordon McPhail. It seems like every vlog we bring up yet another bottle by Gordon McPhail, rare, hard to find whiskey from the 1950s, 1960s, 1940s even. And this bottle uh, here is representative of a truly bewildering amount of really top notch uh, Gordon McPhail bottlings that are into this auction. So this one is 52 years old, but if you get in and have a look around, you're going to see some really, really cracking bottles from one of the world's leading independent bottlers, which allows you to try distilleries in maybe a slightly different way, to try and experience the distillery in a slightly different way from the official bottlings of that distillery. Next up we have a blend, because as you all know, um, blended whiskey still accounts for about 95% of all Scotch sales worldwide, so yeah, single malts are great, they're interesting, they're fascinating, but that's where a lar the largest amount of sales come from blends. And this one is the Royal Salute 40 year old. And this was bottled to celebrate 40 years of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. And this is one of only 500 of these wonderful ruby crystal decanters uh, bottled at 40%. And this is a lovely Baccarat uh, crystal decanter because they created Royal Salute in 1953 to celebrate the Queen's coronation. Something else uh, from the blended side of things that is very hard to get hold of, rare, interesting, is the Johnny Walker Director's Blend. These are distilled every year in very small batches and given to the directors at Johnny Walker. So you can't buy these. What we have here is six bottles from 2008 to 2013 and it is a complete collection of the Director's Blends that have been released. Now as you can't buy these things, this makes them hen's teeth rare. And it comes in a lovely bespoke box with all the information, all the letters and things like that, covering uh, five out of the six bottles. And this one here is the 2011 bottle, bottled at 46%. Now the great thing about these bottles is that 
Johnny Walker, when they've been told to create this, the phrase they were given was, do something special. Now, as we all know, Johnny Walker, owned by Diageo, have some of the greatest stocks for whiskey. So they really take the time to go through their stocks, some of their oldest, and create something rather magnificent. And this lot is, is quite simply stunning, uh, and one of, if not my favourite for this auction, an absolutely um, historical lot in this month's auction. Next up, we have another piece of history, and this is uh, a John Haig gold label. And it says on us here, by appointment to the late King George V. King George obviously died in 1936, so this was bottled sometime around 1937, 1938. A decent fill level still on the neck, just down at the shoulder there. And so this was a whisky, a style of which that is over 70 years old. So that is absolutely fantastic. A chance to go back and taste. This is this phrase we keep using, liquid history. And this is it, inside this bottle. And you can buy it. You can win it in this month's auction. Sticking with liquid history, we all know that bourbon is uh, really important in the Scotch whisky industry because we use their casks. But bourbon as well has a history dating back quite a while. And this one here is really, really interesting because this was distilled in 1914. So just a couple of years before that failed experiment of prohibition in America, this was distilled. It was then bottled in 1937, a couple of years after the experiment had failed. It's got its uh, Illinois tax seal on it there, and it's got the information on the back of the label there. It has some signs of wear and tear, a bit of dust, as you would expect for something that is, again, over 70 years old. Actually, we're going to do the maths on this. It's 100 years old. I'm so excited, I'm not even doing the maths correctly on this. So this is a bourbon here that's over 100 years old. Again, it wouldn't be a vlog without a lot from McAllen, and this is one from 1938. McAllen, still the gold standard for most uh, fans of single malt whiskey, and this one brings us in, regarded by many from this is the, the autograph label, as some of the finest whiskey that they've ever bottled. So if you want to drink some of the finest whiskey from one of the finest distilleries, you know where to come. You come to the auction and you bid on this and win it. And last, but by no means least, is another distillery that has a fair shout to be regarded as one of the finest distilleries operating in Scotland. And this is Glen Farkless, still family owned in the, in the Grant family. And this one was distilled in 1959, but more importantly, it was distilled on Christmas Day. And seeing as this is the auction, that if you're going to buy something, if you want this in that you're going to get your presents for Christmas, we thought we'd put this one in here. It's bottle number 182 of 240. Lovely rich colour from that distillery in Ballandalloch which is often called probably the finest distillery in Speyside. Now, these are just a few bottles that we have in the auction, and I, keep, I can't stress enough how excited we are with the number of really lovely special bottles that we have from the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. How many bottles we have that are 45, 46, 47, 48, 50 years old. So please get in, have a look around, and remember, Scotch Whiskey Auctions, don't lose your bottle.